I was with some of my friends and co-workers driving home the other night, and suddenly things got a little dicey. And now I have a deeper appreciation for life itself. First, I must apologize. I'm heading into finals week right now and I'm exceptionally busy, so this will have to be a short one. But I need to tell this story about how my life hung in the balance. I may be dramatizing this slightly, just a smidge. So I went out to a lovely end of the year staff bonding dinner with my supervisor and most of my fellow RAs from the building I work in. We've grown very close this year and it was just a delight of a dinner. Afterwards, on the way back home, I was riding in a car with my supervisor and two of my RA buddies, one of whom was driving. We were just motoring smartly along, joking and jesting and just being jovial in general. And I sound like a Dr. Seuss book now, so enough of that. And we're on the highway, and suddenly a lady starts to merge from the left and come into our lane. And at the same time, a car on the right starts to slide to their left and come into our lane as well. They're a little bit in front of us, but not much. So now we're literally sandwiched between two cars coming in from either side. It was like the boat chase scene in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where those guys are trying to drive the boat in between the two huge ships while they're closing in, and then they end up getting squished and explode. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Or like the scene in Star Wars where they go down the trash chute and then the walls start closing in. If I'd been thinking, like any logical person would have, I would have quoted Han Solo and said, One thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner. But I wasn't thinking, I was screaming internally. More accurately, I was frozen in place and unable to scream. So the only sound I made was this audible, quick intake of air, like a tiny gasp. It's hard to describe, almost like a small infant playing peekaboo and getting surprised except coming out of my mouth. <gasps> Just an incredibly childlike noise. But inside, I was going <coughs> Luckily, thankfully, blessedly, my friend who was driving totally kept her cool and swerved right to avoid the car coming from the left, and then swerved back to the left again to avoid the car coming from the right. We must have come within inches of each car, but we stayed in our lane and didn't get a scratch on us, thanks to our driver. She quickly slowed down and then got us away from those other cars, and we immediately began asking each other if we were okay. And we couldn't stop thanking our driver for being amazing and basically saving our lives. The only casualty was my friend's oatmeal cream sandwich cookie, which she had purchased after dinner, but had taken a nasty spill during the crisis. You know what they say. No sacrifice, no victory. I stole that from Shia LaBeouf in Michael Bay's Transformers. I don't think it applies here, but whatever. I'm still amazed that we got through that unscathed. I mean, we are so lucky, especially lucky that my friend was driving. I haven't seen Mad Max Fury Road yet, but I don't think I need to now. I lived it. I'm pretty sure what we did surpassed all of the stunts in that movie or was at least on that level. Also, there's no way that's true, but I want to believe it. So I guess if there's a lesson here, it's that in any crisis or dangerous situation, you should do your best to keep your cool, remain alert, and hope that my friend is with you because she must have some supernatural ability to cheat death. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go figure out how to unclench my hand. It's been this way pretty much since I was gripping the seat during the near accident, but uh, I'm sure that's normal. I'll catch you later.